Hello, welcome to Tiddlywinks. I'm Katie, this is Mr Tiddlywinks, he's saying welcome as well. And this is little Ted. Now today we're going to think about something which is very very big and someone who was very very small. But before we do that, let's start with the Tiddlywinks prayer. So we need to, you need to go down there. We need to put our hands together. Little Ted's trying, but his arms aren't quite long enough. And he's got his eyes shut already. So you shut your eyes, hands together, and let's pray. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do and bless all those who love me too. Amen. Right, where's Mr Tiddlywinks? Here he comes. Now, Mr Tiddlywinks is quite big, isn't he? Look, he's bigger than me, aren't you? You're big. And he's much bigger than little Ted. And little Ted is quite small. He's much smaller than me. In fact, he's small and Mr Tiddlywinks is like a giant to little Ted. Can you make yourself really really big? Put your hands up, stretch up really really tall like a big giant. And can you make yourself really really small and tiny? Really really small. That's it. Now in Tiddlywinks today we're going to have a story about a big giant who was very, very scary and a small boy who was very scared, but he was very brave because God was with him. So shall we get ready for the story? OK, here it comes. The enemies of God's people came out to fight. They sent their best fighter out first. His name was Goliath. He was over nine feet tall. He was a giant. He called to the army of Saul, Choose a man to come and fight with me. If he wins, we will be your servants. But if I win, you will be our servants. The men in Saul's army were afraid. They knew Goliath was stronger than they were, no one wanted to fight him. Now David's brothers were in Saul's army, but David was at home keeping the sheep. One day David's father called him. Take this bread to your brothers, he said. So David got to go to his brothers. He got to see the army. He also got to see Goliath, and he saw how everyone was afraid of him. I will fight Goliath, said David. But Saul said, you are only a little boy. How can you fight Goliath? God will help me, said David. So Saul gave David his armour and helmet. He gave him a sword. David tried them on, but they were too heavy. David gave them back to Saul. I'm not used to these, he said. Instead, David chose five smooth stones from a stream. He took his sling in his hand and David called to Goliath, You come with a sword and a spear, but I come to you in the name of God. This battle is the Lord's. The giant came closer to fight David, but David put a stone in his sling and he threw the stone at Goliath. The stone hit Goliath right in his forehead, and Goliath fell down. David trusted God. God helped David to win. All the people were glad. Now, we heard in our Bible story that David took five stones from the riverbed and he used a catapult to throw those stones at Goliath and that's how he killed him. He killed him with a catapult. 
Now, for our craft activity today, we're going to make a picture of a catapult. It's not going to be a real catapult, it's just going to be like a picture, because catapults are a bit dangerous, really. So what we need is a pipe cleaner, three sticks, and if you haven't got a stick, these sorts of sticks, you can either use any old stick from the garden, or you can use some folded up paper that you can fold into a stick. And then think three, five things to be stones, and I'm using these little bobbles here. But if you haven't got bobbles, you can screw up some little balls of paper, and they, they would make good stones. So, the first thing we need to do is make the shape of the catapult on the paper. Now, a catapult is shaped like a Y. So that's what it will look like. And then we're going to stick the pipe cleaner over the top to be the sling bit of the cat catapult. So we need some glue. I'm going to put the glue on the sticks and stick the first one right in the middle near the bottom of the paper. There's a bit of glue squelching out but I think that's all right. And then the second stick can go uh, up there like that. And the third stick can go as to be the other half of the Y. So that's the catapult. Now catapults need a sling to hold the stones. So we're going to use this. And I'm going to cut it because it's a bit too long at the moment. So cut it a bit longer than the Y. So, so that it will a bit longer than that, okay? About that, that long. And then I'm going to put a I'm going to bend the ends a bit so that they stick better. And then I'm going to put a blob of glue on the end of the catapult. I've used quite a lot of glue here, so I hope it will stick nicely. Bend it so it's a bit curved. There we are. Stick it on like that. And you have to leave it for a while to dry because then it, it, otherwise it's going to fall off. If you pick it up straight away, it will probably fall off. But if we leave it for a bit, it should be okay. Now, don't forget the stones. David picked up five stones. So I'm going to put some blobs of glue over here. One, two, three, four, five. Five blobs of glue. And I'm going to put one stone on each one. I think that will stay. Now this is falling over, so you might need to put some stronger glue, but I think it will be all right. And if it's not all right, if it starts to come off, then maybe you could put a piece of sellotape over the ends to just to hold it carefully. So there we are. That's David's catapult and his five stones that he used to kill Goliath, the scary giant, because God was with him. And it's only because God was with him that he was able to do that. So this can remind us that even if we feel scared and even if we haven't got big armour and swords and stuff like that, we can still do big things because God will help us. There we are. We're going to sing a song now. And we're going to sing a song about how strong and mighty God is. God is stronger than all the things that might make us scared. 
So can you do the actions like this? My God is so big, big and tall, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. Okay, so you go and watch the song and you join in the actions and I'll see you afterwards. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that my God can't do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that my God can't do. He made mountains so tall, rivers so wide, and even the stars far away. Hello, we're going to finish Tiddlywinks now with a prayer. And this is a special prayer because it's got actions. So we start off by saying thank you. Thank you. So can you clap your hands to say thank you to God? Thank you. Thank you for being with me. And do this to show that God is with you. Thank you for being with me and loving me. So put your hands like that to show, to show God loving you. So thank you for being with me and loving me. Thank you. Amen. So let's do it again one last time. Thank you God for being with me and loving me. Thank you. Amen. Well, that's all for Tiddlywinks today. So um, I'm going to go now and bye-bye from little Ted. And bye-bye from me. See you again soon. Bye. Christchurch, 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 Christchur